What's good, everyone? It's me, Minister Rose here. Back again on some Rising 3. Sorry I was gone for a couple days. I haven't been feeling the best. I'm sure I probably still don't sound the best right now. I'm still feeling kind of sick. But, uh, I figured I'm feeling a little bit better today, at least. I'm trying to get a video up. You know, I mean, I have been on. Just, I didn't want to record while I was really feeling bad. This is personal preference. This, this car really needs gears, holy shit. No power. This thing has a lot of grip for some reason. Um, but yeah. I'm back. Probably gonna go to like a video every other day ish. Holy shit, almost died. So I think I'm gonna add a little bit more power into this. We'll see. So right about now, it feels like it's in between gears. The stock engine. Come on. Do something down low, please. Once it gets going, it's fine. I'm sure the parking lot this thing would be amazing. So I think before I do add power to it, I will hit the parking lot first. Oh, I had to rub my eye. Maybe I'm just rusty this section. I haven't ran this in quite a while. A little, little rusty here. Getting a little shaky through there. Oh man, even so that builds really slow. Fast travel out here towards the parking lot. We'll go to the uh, festival first so I can, you know, show you guys the build, etc. etc. Ugh. I just don't feel good. I don't know what it is. Just throwing up. Runny nose. Am I dying? I'm probably dying. Rip Destroyers 2016. Didn't get to see 2017. Show you guys the build. I'll probably, just, I'll probably just add the power here. Might actually take. Uh, which one? Oh man. Did that turn off the clutch? I, I, I hope it did. Okay, it did. But I might take out the upgraded turbos. Uh, stock engine. Race intake. Stock fuel system. We're going to put the race in there. Uh, do a race ignition as well. Should be race exhaust, race cams. What does that do for the power brand? Not much. Uh, stock valve, <laughs> stock block, stock pistons. Now let's take the turbo out here. 400 horsepower. Yeah, we will. Uh, let me see some. Okay, I mean. It added quite a bit of torque, but not enough. Okay, so we need to add pistons, 422. Let's do a block, and hopefully get some more torque out of it. 455. Hopefully that should be enough. Uh, but yeah, so, where were we? Street turbo. Wait, what? Okay, street turbo, I guess. Uh, stock oil and cooling. And a sport flywheel. Let's go over here to the brakes. Race brakes. You guys know rally race race and i believe this is sport you had to bring it up to like 2700 pounds felt a little bit better there uh stock weight uh, race that's all race you guys know that tire compound stock 225s in the front 
255 is in the rear. I might actually bring that down. Oh, oh man. It's all set up. I need to get some sleep. I've been tossing and turning. Alright. Now for the tune. Uh, 34, 5, 26 flat. Gearing, same as usual. Let it pause there for you guys. Alright, on to the alignment. He's like, I, I can't talk. Don't listen to me right now. Uh, negative 5 in the front, 0.8 in the rear, 0.8 toe in the rear, 6.5 caster? Why is that 6.5? What the hell? Uh, roll bars, 36, 31. Springs, 5.33 and 2.19. Uh, damping 8 7 and 7 7 5 5 and 5 for the pump oh, 40 80 for the brakes it'll lock yeah all right so hopefully this feels better now without the uh, without the upgraded turbos we shall see Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Out of my way, bro. All right. Yeah, that turbo is definitely killing it. Ooh. They poured on a little too much angle there. A little too much. I have to soften her up. Even though she's already pretty soft, holy shit. Mm. All the way in the angle, please. I'm, this is really getting thrown into angle quite quick. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Let's uh, do that first off. Why is Marketplace lit up? My game just freeze. Oh my god. I'll tell you what, this game really freaks me out sometimes. I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, um. Suffetofton. Up the rear a little bit. Uh, bring you back down. Into the 90s. Alright. See how that goes. Turn the clutch back on here. That was me, that wasn't the car. It's like the thing's trying to do things late. Is it that input delay from having, you know, an Elgato? I doubt it. I'm just trying to make excuses.
Honestly, it feels like it's too fast. Feels like it catches a lot of drip. That's a lot of blue cars in that little lineup over there. Yeah, it definitely feels faster than normal. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, the most like 400 horsepower cars on stock tires, it's kind of a rocket ship, it almost feels like. I think I just combined like two tracks there. Pretty sure I just did. Cheese and crackers. I mean, I kind of like it as two layouts, though, or, you know, as one layout. It, it wasn't bad. Curb kind of straightened me out. That's a fence. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So this car is throttle control. That's that's what this is. It's I'm slowly learning with this thing. That run was terrible. You know, one more, and then I'll, then I'll show my wheel settings. I know that uh, of you have asked the wheel settings. Bam! All right, done. All right, now for the wheel settings. Uh, right there, and right there, right there. So we got a three steering axis dead zone inside, 65 linearity. All oh, this is default. Zero vibration, 100 force feedback. I'm on 270, 100 force feedback under sear, 20 minimum force, 130 wheel damper, and 180 center spring scale. There it is. Oh wow, I didn't realize you could turn it back to basic. That's uh, that's, that's interesting. Well, I mean, I, I like it the way it is. It, it feels good. I like a heavier wheel, some people don't. I don't know, it, it feels good to me. Either way, it's me, Man Destroyers. Get the hell out of here, and I'll see you guys later.